Have a look at my clock, the time one. It shows the time and date. Since it's a screenshot you can't see, but it actually updates the time every half a second. You could have it open permanently and you'll still get the correct time. But there's a clock already. Thing is, I don't like moving my mouse to see the time, I would much rather just press a hotkey. And so can you now. How can you use it? First, copy my code, link to the description, and paste it into your script. Make a hotkey to call clock, and that's it. Right now I'm gonna explain how the code works. We get the time that's going to appear first when you call the function. These variables we get are only used once. So, the separation is purely for readability. Time, weekday, and date all have different font sizes, as you might have noticed. Set font works almost like a directive. Every GUI control created under it will have that font. When we use set font again, that will become the new rule. When we create the texts, why are we going to use these variables only once? Thing is, if you want to update a GUI text, you can't just update a variable it started with. These variables are only the starting values. For us to change the text later, we get the text GUI objects and change their text property. Using the function object of these three lines, we run them every half a second. Right now, we have three things to take care of. We have to make sure the GUI is destroyed when it's closed, make it easier to close it using escape, and remember to delete the timer we set. If we forget to delete it, once the GUI is destroyed, we're gonna get an error. So, when we press escape or close the GUI, we run destruction. That does three things. Delete the timer, disable the hotkey we made, and destroy the GUI. That's it for today, goodbye.